Guobin bought an annual pass to Hangzhou Safari Park in April 2019, with his fingerprints and photo taken for admission. Six months later, the park notified him that the old entry system had been replaced with a new one using facial recognition technology. Guobin became concerned it might be used to steal his identity, and asked for a refund. The park refused, so Guo took the park to court in late 2019. 一个非常重要的争议焦点，这个直接涉及到他们的这个收集我的面部特征信息是采取一种欺诈的手段收集的，收集我的面部特征信息，也就是人脸信息，他们是完全没有告知的。After a second trial in 2020, Guo Bing is still waiting to hear back on the verdict from the Hangzhou Intermediate People's Court. As an associate law professor at Zhejiang Science Tech University, Guo Bing is alert to controversial issues like this. But many people may not be as aware about how data is collected, used, stored, and transferred. This toilet paper machine also uses facial recognition technology to prevent waste. But in the digital age, more and more people are concerned about their privacy. So there's a message here saying it will not store any of the data it gathers. But what if someone's personal data is leaked or stolen? How can companies be supervised? And if they violate regulations, how can they be punished? Legal experts say the existing laws do not provide adequate protection for individuals. As an NPC deputy, Zhang Tianren submitted his first draft on personal data and internet information security in 2017. This year marks his third time submitting a similar draft, but with some new angles. 你现在就是上升到我们讲人脸啊，这个扫码啊，这个这个包括到指纹啊，这些它都是一些数据信息，所以说它更加这个面更广，这个可能深度更深啊，涉及的领域呢就更重要。Home to the highest number of internet users globally, China unveiled a draft law on personal data protection last October. It clarified the definition of sensitive private data. Including race, religion, biometric, and financial information, Zhang Tianren aims to discuss this draft law with Chinese lawmakers at this year's two sessions, the country's annual political season that sees the national legislature and top political advisory body gather in Beijing in March. 同时呢，信息的保护，它可以对整个社会，比如说像我们对整个企业啊，这个在数字化。技术数字化这个革命当中，它也会起到一个积极的作用。With the rapid growth of big data and artificial intelligence in China, people are expected to welcome new regulations that better protect their personal data and privacy. Supporters believe the law could strike a blow to those who've illegally collected and shared personal information for profit. Wu Lei, CGTN, Zhejiang Province.